Hey, what is going on? Campus Camp Facer here. This is a very exciting moment in my life. That's right. Because of growing up watching the Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 1974, me and my friend Greg would watch that sucker over and over on VHS back in the day. Well, the time has come, campers. We are filming a three-part series because this is going to be a lot of vlogging I'm doing. We're going on a trip from Rhode Island to Austin, Texas. Me, my wife, and my daughter are going to meet up with my good friend Josh that I've known for three years, but I've never met him in person. And he's going to, he lives there outside of Austin. He's going to drive us around to all of the 1974 Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie filming locations. We're going to try to hit all four what I have planned, which is the cemetery, the gas station, the, the main house, well, they moved the house from the original location. And then the original location, which would be Quick Hill Road in Round Rock. And I heard through the grapevine that somebody had bought that property. And they plan on building over what's left of the road. So I want to get there and see it and, and experience that where where Leatherface does his chainsaw dance on the road and, and be there before it's all gone. The only problem is I heard it's hard to get to because of the freeways and stuff like that. But this is going to be an adventure, and I hope you guys watch all three series, all three parts, and, and, and experience and, and get to come for the ride with us. And, and also, I haven't flown on an airplane in over 18 years, so I'm a little nervous, you guys. I'm not going to lie. And my daughter, she is 15 now. She's never flown. So this is going to be exciting to us to finally get out of Rhode Island. It's, it's like 40 degrees here. I can't wait to get to, I think it's supposed to be 70, 75 degrees in Austin. So I'm excited. So anyways, let's get into this. Oh, we also... This, this, is a, this is a tough one here. Our plane leaves at 5 in the morning tonight, or tomorrow rather. But we have to get there almost three hours early because of all the security and everything. So we have to leave here at 2 in the morning, you guys. I haven't left my... I haven't, wo I haven't woken up that early ever in my life, so this is going to be a rough one. <laughs> Camp Facer. up campers so we are here at the airport first time going through security in nine over, over 18 years we are flying delta <laughs> let the adventures begin it is currently f uh four o'clock in the morning 4 30 what time is it right now what time is it? 4.15 a.m. We woke up at 2.30. Too early. Too early for me to wake up, you guys. I'll try to sleep on the plane if I can. So, yeah. Let's do this. So this is her first time ever flying. She's a little nervous. Yeah. And this is me oh my in, God, in 15 yeah. years.
such a first time landing. How you feel? You a little nervous? Yeah. <laughs> So we're at the airport now in Atlanta. Got some breakfast over at uh, Pachelle's there. Southern, a Southern tradition, it says. I got a sausage and cheese on a biscuit sandwich. And pretty small for five bucks. But it tastes pretty good. Um, what do you get? Sausage, ba I mean bacon, and fries, and eggs. And a biscuit. And a biscuit. How is it? If being completely honest, it's horrible. What? Horrible. Really? Mine's not too bad. But we have about a uh, two hour layover here before we head on out to. Atlanta, uh, Austin, Austin, Texas. This airport is huge, you guys. What's that noise? It's the oh, landing gear. And the landing gear is going down, like the wheels. We're going in. There we go. We're going up? No, we're landing. We're landing. The wheels go down, it makes noise, silly. <laughs> Airport in Texas, you guys, we made it. We made it. Touchdown in Austin. Now I'm trying to find my buddy, uh, my buddy Josh, pick us up here. I have no idea where I'm going right now, but we're doing this. Texas Chainsaw, here we come. Leatherface. station. We're gonna get me some barbecue and look for my friend Sally and Franklin and Maria Flores. Maria, where's Maria? Is Maria around? We're looking for our friend Maria. Um, yeah. We're gonna check this out, you guys. This is awesome. I'm so excited. This here is my buddy Josh. We've been buddies for a while, and I came. Whoops, sorry. I came down to see this dude right here. He's gonna chop us up. I know he is. He's gonna bury us in those woods out there. I'm just kidding. Um, no, but we're here with Josh. He's been so kind to drive us around because he lives how far away from here? About, about three hours. 
three hours within the general Austin area and we flew here to hang out with Josh and come to this location, all the locations. So I just wanted to point out, this is my buddy here. So it's a sign. I thought there was a piece of trim, but maybe it was just over here where the cars were are parked. There used to be the uh, the gas pump, and then back over out over there was where the big uh, tanks were set. Um, but look at this, you guys! In memory of those who went before us. We got Gunnar Hansen. Yesterday was his birthday, by the way. Toby Hooper, Marilyn Burns, Paul Burns, Franklin, there he is, Bob Burns, the cook. I even, I like how the, uh, they even have, it looks like the, the original um, siding here. We have the red and blue chair too. Oh, we got the window washer's bucket. You guys need a window wash? You guys don't need to be messing around no barbecue. You, you boys don't wanna go mess around no old house. Those things is dangerous, you're liable to get hurt. Look at this. I wonder if this is the original truck from the film, you guys. Wow. Look at that. That's creepy looking in there. Head on inside in a minute. We got the shop in here, you guys. Look at this. Nice. We are in the gas station. We are in the gas station. Look at this. I wonder if this is from the film. Golf. You guys can read that. I got that poster. Nice. Hey, Michael. What's up, Michael Myers? And Mr. Jason. How's it going, bro? And we got Freddy Krueger over here, you guys. It looks like the remake Freddy, though. The one I didn't really care for. Saturday special bacon wrap brisket and cheese. Some Texas Chainsaw Mask shirt. It's kind of cool. Some Necker figures. They got everything in here. Part six, Jason Necker. I do own that, but not the boxed one. Chucky. The Goonies. They have everything in here. Anything horror related, basically, they have in here. Pins, buttons, cards. Oh, they got autograph signature, like the hitchhiker. Oh, that's wicked. Some mass over here. That's cool. Some silent night, deadly night. And what's this jacket for sale? This must be it's hard to see with the glare. Oh, 
Oh, they got grandpa's autograph over there. That's cool. Texas color. <laughs> We got the hitchhiker and a dead corpse, I think. I don't know who that's supposed to be, but yeah, look at this. Yeah, they have a lot of new and old and rare ones. And oh, my bloody Valentine, that's awesome. I'd like to get my hands on that one sometime. Part two, Jason, mother. Oh, hatchet. They got hatchet. The reanimator. They have, you guys, they have a lot here. What do we got, you guys? We got a replica, it looks like, of the van. This is behind the gas station. Now, I don't recall a flat tire in the movie, but, you know, it works. Um, I want, I don't know if this is like, is this exact replica of what they, I mean, obviously it's not screen used, but, um, wow, it's pretty beat up and old. It's kind of cool looking though. Uh, Franklin would have been over there in his wheelchair facing that way and the hitchhiker would have been sitting in the back on the floor kind of not directly in the seat playing with his uh razor blade knife and franklin were, would would have given it to him and yeah you guys seen the movie but here it is this looks pretty cool they have in the back here now they have um cottages you could rent, um, you have to book, and you could sleep overnight. Um, but that's a pretty cool if you wanna come here and spend some time here overnight or a few days. They have some beds and stuff like that. Obviously, it looks like empty right now, but. But Sally would have been running through the woods. I believe Sally would have been running through the woods over coming from that general area because in the movie Leatherface was chasing her and it seemed like she ran up to like that corner there and went around and I think one of the doors was locked and she went to the next one I believe. which would have been the kitchen where she ran into uh, Drayton Sawyer, the cook. But let's, let's go check out the back here. Oh, they have a uh, cornhole set up while you're waiting for your food. And they have like the little uh, pavilion, picnic tables and such. So they have it definitely set up for people to come and order barbecue. We're gonna get ourselves some barbecue, some real human meat. Can't wait to try to try this out and see what it tastes like. Okay, you guys, this is my um, what's this called again? Spicy yeah. sausage wrap. All right, you guys, I'm trying the, the sausage wrap. Mmm. 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 That is pretty good. That is damn good. <laughs> it's spicy, too. This is a good hot sauce, you guys.
I highly recommend try the sausage wrap. I'm going to have to try a piece of brisket here too. My, my wife took the brisket. We're going to share it. Let's show you guys what it looks like. Here's the, uh, she got the, the potato salad, brisket, and I think coleslaw. Mm -hmm. All right. I did. Let me try a piece of that brisket. It's delicious. Really good. I smothered it in the sauce. Is there another four? Or I'll just use yours. No, or is there another one here? Okay, so I just got some information from somebody that worked here. They said that the door that Drayton pulled Sally into was right here. They buried it. It used to be right here. The first door she tried going in was locked. It was right where the wall is in there. I thought it was here where this door here is. Okay, so after I rewatched the scene from the movie when Sally runs to the gas station. This is what we see. She runs to the first door. It's locked. She runs by that big picture window next to the first door that you've clearly seen in my video. And there's a big gap in the wall. And then she comes upon the second door right here. There's an, there is another door here. Um, and it looks like behind this tree there's a window. And then... There's another door next to the window, which appears to be the door on the metal siding in the in my video that I, I'm showing you from the vlog. But in here, in the movie, it doesn't seem to be on the metal siding. I don't know if things were remodeled, but apparently this is the second door the, uh, the worker at the gas station told me is missing. They buried it, and the, apparently the window's buried too. But she was saying that this was the door that Drayton got pulled Sally into. But it appears that Sally's going into the third door. I'm I'm just a little confused. I don't know if there's some mixed information or if anybody out there has any comment on this with exact facts. I would just be I'm just curious. Post it down in the comment section below. But anyways, moving on. Um, but this tree over here. She said also is the original from the film, and I, I thought it was. And, and again, there's some metal poles here holding up in case it falls over. Oh yeah, so they got it all propped up with uh, metal uh, braces. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for today, for, for now.